In this video, I'm going to talk about a really common question that I get from Sage 50 users, especially from new users, and that is why sometimes you get the word duplicate printing on your checks and your invoices. So this is a preview of a check right here. You can see up in the top stub, I've got the word duplicate printing there, here in the signature area, and again on the bottom stub. All three places have got the word duplicate. Same thing can happen on your, on your invoices. I'm going to use checks as an example, but... Uh, the, the reasoning and the, and the fix for it is, is the same for either one. So let's go back to the payments window. And you can see here that I had filled in the check number already before doing the print preview. If I take that out and go back to print preview and enter my check number here instead at the first check number in the, in the print window, now that duplicate warning is gone. So a lot of people are confused by this, but the, the logic behind it is that, um, and, and again, it makes more sense probably with checks than it does with invoices, but you could have pre-numbered invoices too. Um, but if you enter several, um, several checks, several payments all at once, and then you go to print them off as a batch, you won't necessarily know which one is going to receive which check number until you've already printed them. Um, and so that's the, that's the logic you know, that the program uses that um, if, you, if you already know the check number, then it must have been already printed or it could be a handwritten check, but either way, it would still be a duplicate when you print it again. Um, so the first way to fix the problem is simply don't enter a check number here, wait until you go to print it, and then put your starting check number in there, and that will eliminate the problem of that duplicate warning. Um, the other way you can do it is to... Uh, customize the check or the invoice format to get rid of that field that prints the duplicate warning on there. So to do that, you're going to go to the Reports and Forms menu, and then Forms, and then either Invoices or Checks. I'm going to use the Checks. You find the format in the list that you're working with, select it, and then click the Customize button. And then you can just find that field on here. So here up in the top stub, there's our duplicate warning. I'm going to right-click and delete and we'll scroll down a little bit there's the duplicate warning in the signature line right click and delete and there it is on the bottom sub so we'll right click and delete and that's all it takes so you would click save if this is a form you'd previously customized you can just hit save right there or since uh, I pulled up one of the standard forms I would have to give it a new name before I could save that change to it um, but that's all there is to it. That's how you get rid of the duplicate warnings on your checks and invoices.